Hello there, and welcome to another video. February 1st means we will be taking a look at every Lego set coming out today in Lego Store. Starting off with the Venom Bike Poly Bag, which isn't on Lego.com. Hopefully, it will be given away with a certain purchase. Do check out my community tab for any updates on that, as I will be posting them the same time as this video. But the first actual set is the Dune Ornithocopter, which you could have pre-ordered, but honestly, if you did, you would have waited a very long time for this. So hopefully you have got the set or are getting it today or within the next few days, dependent on your delivery, as the Dune Ornithocopter is officially out today. I am recording this video a bit early just so I can let you know what sets are available today. But if you walk into a Lego store, you'll be sure to find the Ornithocopter. And other sets that are coming out today include the Brickheads line. Now, I mentioned them in my rumors and releases video at the end of last month, but as you can see, we can get a much more close up look and just have a look at all the little details because when we spun around Mickey, we did find a towel that you couldn't see from any angle. And likewise, Stitch does have his towel, which is a nice detail they've added. Most fans will only display the brickheads from the front, so it's nice that they're including all the detail on the back. And I think it's a great way of representing Stitch, of course. All of these are going to have their prices at the bottom of the screen. So as I flick through for British, the States, Canadian, Australian and Europe, you'll have all your price along the bottom. If you don't see the price of your country down at the bottom of the screen, do let me know in the comments as I will definitely expand it for my next video. But alongside Stitch, we do have a potted Groot, which honestly might be one of the best of this line. I am a big fan of the Stitch, but potted Groot just looks amazing. Because he's a smaller Brickheads, they've actually given him the pot at the bottom, which I guess if they didn't, he wouldn't be potted Groot. But it looks amazing, the detail they've put on the mix of the dark tan and the sand green elements with a few of the sandy orange colours. Just really represent the character well. And as you can see, there's a few printed tiles. There's actually two printed tiles, again, on the back. They look to be the same tile, but... That's about eight printed one by twos on a brick head, two of which are hidden out of sight. So I really like the effort they're putting into these. And it's a similar size to the Wally brick head or the Ewok or R2. So it definitely has that height of a regular brick head when you include the pot. Now for Spider-Man, I think they've done something really cool with the arms on the back as they've included quite a rare piece i'm not quite sure if it's new it doesn't look too new as i think they'd have done it a bit more accurate to the suit but it looks like a cool piece nonetheless and it's connected with a technic axle on the back now as for the suit itself there is some sort of mistake on the box art as they include the complete wrong suit to the one they're representing as you can see He's got golden bits over the arms and everything and doesn't have the golden outline on the blue spider on his chest. And I think it's even gold and black on the box. So perhaps that's just because it's a cooler picture of Spider-Man. But hopefully that is somewhat corrected to match up with the suit that's actually in the Lego form. Again, we're getting a load of printed pieces. There is the chest which comes exclusive to this. And likewise, most of these pieces are going to be exclusive to the brick heads. You've also got the 2x2 two two on the face, but the more interesting piece usage is actually the bigger 2x4 web tile that they have not only on the front of the head, but also on all four sides. So you've got, what's that, seven of the 2x4s, which really, it would have been nice to have seen a bit more detail in Lego, but brick heads are just becoming printed tiles with certain characters like this. It's similar with the Iron Man. As you can see with Iron Man, his chest plate and even his lower chest and his forehead are all just printed tiles and they have actually included some detailing on the side with another tile at an angle. But for the most part, you just get in printed pieces to make them look as their characters do because many of these licensed characters are way too detailed to just brick out at this size and need larger models like the Chewbacca that we got, like the giant R2-D2 that we'll be getting. If you haven't seen the R2-D2, the tentative boarding or any of the new sets, do check out my rumours and releases that I'll probably leave tagged at the end of the video. But this Spider-Man does seem to be mostly printed tiles. I guess that's cool if you're a collector of brick heads as they are 
sort of their own line of sets and they remind me a lot of the Funko vinyl bobblehead pops because they are sort of similar size to them and they have the bigger heads with the generic expression that you see amongst most of them especially with that reused tile for the eyes but expanding upon the sonic and towels from their own sonic brickheads line which is sort of a sub theme of sonic rather than brickheads we are getting a knuckles and shadow brickheads which is cool Again, they have missed out Amy. I did say this in my last video talking about them. But I do like the eye pieces. I think the green and purple just look a lot less creepy than the blues and green of the Sonic and Tails. And I'm not quite sure what they've done differently. But I do like these. And again, unlike the Spider-Man one, there's not much printing. I was about to say there's no printing. Shadow's forehead does have this printed tile, which probably could have been done without it. But honestly is just a slight detail that makes it a bit more square and match up to the other Brickheads lines but besides that I don't really see any printing on the rest of these figures so it does look really cool that they're actually brick building these of course Knuckles and Shadow don't have too many details that they can't unlike the web pattern on Spider-Man and Honestly, the Sonic line of Brickheads are some of my favourite Brickheads just because the way they are built and the details that they include. And now we are onto the telephone box, which I probably spoke way too much about in my last video. I've basically given all the details away. Brickmore Road sign, there's a nice lamppost in it, which I don't think the lamppost could be changed. That might have been a cool feature to have added. But you do get different phones. You can get a more old phone and... I guess telephone boxes themselves are out of use, so they could have included a third. But you get an old phone with a advertising board, a nice little phone book in there, and you also get the phone book in the newer one, which I didn't notice last time, but a much more modern payphone and a few different posters, one for Legoland and one for the Double Decker bus, which Lego have actually put out a set for previously. So it would have been nice to have got a defibrillator in them, as if you didn't know, that's what the telephone boxes are now used for, sort of defibrillator stations, you phone up if you do need access to a defibrillator, if you need to help someone, and the ambulance line will give you a code to unlock it, and it would have been nice to have included that, but for a Lego phone box sort of display set, I can sort of see why they haven't, though I'm definitely sure there'll be people mocking out the insides of this and adding their own defibrillators. There is also a light brick in the top, which is really cool the way they've worked this out. It looks like it has some transparent studs and bricks on the top, but even the crown on the front, the telephone, which hopefully these are both printed bricks, but I doubt they'll put stickers in a display model. And overall, it just looks like a really fun idea set. Of course, this is based off of this idea set that I will put on screen for you now and Honestly, I think LEGO have really done really well turning this into an official LEGO set. And whilst we're on idea sets, we also have a look at Family Tree, which has been in the works for a while, I'll admit. I remember when this got through on LEGO Ideas, it was way before I was doing anything on there. And I guess they do need some time to turn it into a set. I quite like the base of the tree, which is actually used to hold all of the pieces, as you can see here. We get different blossom pieces, we get different sort of accessories, apples, kites which can be stuck in the tree as you saw right at the start and just a bunch of different things you can add to decorate your tree including the clips which can actually hold pictures of family members. Perhaps you don't even want it as a family tree and just want it to hold some memories of a fun holiday or some fun memories you have of when you were young and I'm a real big fan of these unique pieces. They really did need something like this to be able to clip the photos to them. And they all come with hooks which can be hooked on the branches. Because they're using that sort of tentacle like bent piece to actually hang all the leaves on here. So you can just see in this image and there is a better image here. All the different pieces and accessories it comes with my head sort of blocking most of the blossoms. But there's a little paint palette. There's different pictures. There's rackets, there's a pretzel, there's a little plane which you can have flown into the tree. Walkie talkie, magnifying glass, just a bunch of different things. Even roller skates, I don't know how they'd get in the tree. But I do like the fact that they haven't just gone with the idea set and given us a tree that we can perhaps just sit some photos in. They've really gone out of their way to create new pieces for it, to create some 
different memories you can recreate including a little picnic mat down here and even have somewhere to put all the spare pieces because chances are people that are buying this level of a set i mean it is an 80 pound set again all the other prices at the bottom of your screen it's not a set that people are going to be buying and shoving the other pieces in a spare parts tub so it's nice that you can actually put the pieces somewhere that goes for the photo frame that has just been revealed as well it's nice to have somewhere to put just generic spare lego pieces rather than all the other pieces that of course it's meant for and will be going alongside with the spare pieces now the final set coming out today is the kingfish art and it's one of the most intricate design sets this is for the icons theme and you can see a bunch of different parts especially for these reeds here we've got the same pieces that were just used for the branches of the family tree in a sand green color holding up some of the stretch balloon elements with some round two by two bricks and we've even got the comlink piece which i call because it looks like a comlink from say star wars in this nice reddish brown to go along with the rest of the reed the kingfisher is swooping down trying to pick up a fish by the looks of it and it's just a really cool piece the splash of the water you've got the other little greenery here at the bottom and the kingfisher itself with a fish in its mouth i guess it's already caught the fish splashing out the water it's just been rounded off very well the feathers are so intricately made and positioned at the right angle to get that fly of the kingfisher coming out the water and it just looks like an amazing set it's quite a sizable model as well we could just see in that image that it's 21 centimeters tall and 31 centimeters wide because of that wingspan and the open wings it is quite a wide model but you've still got the space on the floor to put some other smaller sets poly bags or even some sets that are perhaps a bit wider at the base so that has been all the sets coming out today if you are looking to pick one up let me know down in the comments as i don't really think there's any of these sets that i will be looking at picking up but come march 1st you can rest assured that i'll be picking up that tentative diorama play set it's sort of a play rama we'll call it a play rama but do check out that video if you haven't already again that will be on the end screen subscribe so we can hit 700 subscribers this month that is the mission we hit 500 in december we hit 600 in january we're already over a quarter of the way there so i see no reason we can't hit 700 make sure you are subscribed do like the video if you did enjoy and stay tuned for more awesome lego content may the bricks be with you always